Hey, so I thought I'd do a quick video uh, explaining what I am doing specifically um, right now as far as writing lessons for the Haywood people. Um, right now I'm working on 2 Timothy, which my coworker has uh, finished the translation of and all the comprehension checks, all that kind of stuff went really well and it's ready to be taught. Uh, so I just got to write lessons for it and then uh, fly back in at some point and, and teach that. So um, currently working on 2 Timothy, uh, still in chapter one. Um, it's gonna be either two or three lessons, hopefully just two, but uh, there's a lot to unpack in here, especially with some of the culture stuff. But anyway, uh, so for example, I'm working on uh, 2 Timothy chapter one, verses nine through 11. This is, would be point two of the second lesson that I'm working on. And so it says in English, uh, let's see, nine through 11. For God saved us and called us to live a holy life. He did this not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan from the beginning of time, uh, excuse me, from before the beginning of time, to show us his grace through Christ Jesus. And now he has made all of this plain to us by the appearing of Christ Jesus, our Savior. He broke the power of death and illuminated the way to life and immortality through the good news. And God chose me, uh, that being Paul, be a preacher and apostle and teacher of this good news. And of course, Paul's writing this uh, from prison. Uh, he's, um, yeah, been put in prison during this. And so uh, a big theme I'm trying to bring out is that even though uh, we may suffer for following Christ, it's no reason for us to uh, get down or heavy hearted or discouraged um, because uh, you know, our treasure, our hope is not in this life. All these things, no matter how good a uh, of things we can accumulate in this life, money or big houses or fame, fortune, whatever, it's, it's gone one day. But the treasures we store in heaven are going to last forever. And so, uh, just to read some of what I'm writing, point two here, uh, this has not had a comprehension check, so I'm sure I've, I've written some of this wrong and i got to get in there and, and check it with a couple of people. But it says, uh, point two, Nanafi Usawafa, Nafa Gorolo Kuka Arifuma Kitai. Uh,あれ踏むけたいこえ、マノペメ、やおおらふ、なふせいてんおらゆ、あににめ、なんびゃらなふ、まんぷくぺめま。なふ、まないまなふ、やおゆやおもらおふ、ななふわふ、のふ
to buy our sin debt. You know, we've we've done wrong, we have sin, and and because of that sin, we can't be with God, and, and God wants us to be with Him. And so Jesus, uh, I posted on Easter on Facebook something about the the Hewa language and how they say uh, He maketes His death to our sin debt. So He joins His death to our sin debt, and uh, and by doing that, He pays for our sin. And so Jesus is not like Satan; that He gives us a straight and true thinking, and He joins His death to our our sin and uh, saves us and because of that uh, we should willingly and joyfully want to be slaves for Christ and I have uh, later we have some support uh, scriptures from Romans chapter 6 17 through 18 where it talks about before we were slaves to sin but now we're slaves to Jesus Christ and uh, because of what he's done for us and this idea of a bond servant this willing uh, slave one that initially has to be but is because they're thankful and joyful because of what Christ has done for them so anyway uh, yeah I'm hoping I'm kind of translate my thoughts clear and as you're praying be praying for the Hayward people uh, that they'll grasp onto this despite uh, my inadequacies and and uh, pray for the teaching coming up for 2nd Timothy that'll be a new thing pray for me to have wisdom um, pray for good health uh, you know, Jesse's been sick and all that kind of good stuff. But video's getting long, so I'll cut it off here. But thanks for all your support. Thanks for being a part of the Halo work. Uh, thanks for encouraging us and for all you do.